During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the use of stream bars in wheat. The main purpose that we see farmers using stream bars in wheat fields for is to apply fertilizer during the crop season. Well, it's not just any kind of fertilizer though, it's liquid fertilizer and typically we're talking nitrogen. If a farmer was to, let's say, spray nitrogen over the top of his crop like he would spray herbicide, the big problem with that is excessive leaf burn. So in order to apply a lot of fertilizer, yet keep the leaf burn down, that's why farmers use these stream bars. And basically the point is they're creating a stream of fertilizer. So yes, there will be some fertilizer that hits a little bit of the wheat, but most of the fertilizer is going to end up on the ground without hitting the wheat. And then you have just a tiny little bit of leaf burn. You get your fertilizer out there, in season, which is what the farmer was after, it seems to be a pretty good alternative to some other methods of fertilizer application. When farmers are applying nitrogen, the reason why they're doing it in crop rather than all pre-plant is that the crop needs some nitrogen as the season goes on and it has a fairly high demand towards the end of the season. What farmers are seeing for a response in their wheat by putting the nitrogen on later is they're more efficient with the nitrogen and that nitrogen can go right to building protein levels in the wheat. Many farmers are seeing the protein levels increase by a percent or more in some cases. That makes the wheat more valuable to the processors and it also makes it more valuable for the farmers too. Well, the other big thing here is just from the environmental standpoint, as farmers, we're trying to do everything possible so the nitrogen ends up in the crop, not in the groundwater or anywhere else where we don't want it. So applying it near the time when that wheat actually needs the fertilizer, that's a great deal for the farmer, great deal for the environment. It also, like Darren said, means the farmer gets to use a little bit less nitrogen because he has less worry about loss of that nitrogen. So it's a good deal all the way around. Well, and for the farmer, he can be very precise because who knows if it's going to be a great crop year or a poor crop year. And if you have to put all the plant food out before you plant the crop, well, you're totally guessing what kind of year it's going to be. This way, by allowing the farmers or giving the farmers an option to put on that plant food later in the season, the farmer can look and say, you know what? It's not a good year. I'm not going to have a big yield. I'm not going to have a lot of wheat out there. I may not need any more fertilizer, even though I was planning on putting some out there. I can just scrap that plant. Or, hey, this is my best year ever, and I'm going to have way more yield than I ever dreamed I would have. So I'm going to need more plant food out there because those plants are trying to pull all their nutrition out of the soil, and there's just not enough there. To go along with these stream bars and the application of fertilizer through stream bars, a lot of farmers are putting in tram lines in their wheat fields so then they can drive in spots where there is no wheat planted and they don't have to run over an existing wheat crop. So typically farmers are using the stream bars to apply nitrogen and some other liquid fertilizers. They're doing it in tram lines. It's a much more efficient way to apply fertilizer. It's basically in effect a, what we would call a split application. So the farmer will put some nitrogen on early around planting time, the rest of it through these stream bars. It's a good way to go for a lot of farmers around the world. And you may say, wow, these stream bars look exciting. They're probably doing that in all crops. No, stream bars don't work for all crops, like corn, for example, when it has a great big whirl or kind of a funnel in the center of the plant. Stream barring can be quite dangerous because that corn plant with great big leaves could funnel all that fertilizer right into the whirl rather than letting it get down to the soil where it can get in through the roots and you could cause some plant injury. So this is mainly a, a process and, and a technology used in cereal crops. Well, unfortunately, our Weed of the Week is not limited to just cereal crops. We'll talk about how to control it coming up later in the show.